Hey you guys, thank you for coming back to my channel and um, I hope you guys like, share and subscribe to my channel. Um, I just want to give you guys an update since my last video. I know it's been, I know you guys have been waiting for the second update to see if I pass my CT boards. Um, the last time I took my test, it was back in May of this year, and I received the 72. Um, in order to pass the state board's registry, you have to get a 75 or above. Um, I was three points away from passing, which really discouraged me at first because I didn't see where I went wrong. You know, I felt like I prepared myself, and I've been studying since, like, since on and off for a couple of months and um, I remember the first time I studied from my uh, state boards I just used my notes from my class and um, and I got a 68 the first time the second time I first started using this um, but then I remember we I used this book too the Mosby I know some of you guys aren't familiar with this. This is the Mosby uh, Computer Somography Exam Review. This is the third edition, by the way. And as you can see, I really went through this whole book like thousands and thousands. Oh, there we go. These are notes that I had. Like um, important formulas, factors things I should remember. I did this like a few days before my um my CT boards just to make sure I remember all the formulas because the CT you deal with contrast media which is used to enhance um soft tissue and um veins and and so forth. So, and also I had um like I think less than two months before my second uh, attempt um, I didn't realize in this book they have a website online it's called evolve.lsever.com and if you put this well this is for MRI but if you put this without the MRI part let me see if you can this website right here it'll bring you to a website um, I ordered this book from Amazon for like it was not much uh, probably like 40 50 $60. it was less than a hundred dollars and then inside the book they have a code where you can just scratch it off and then you can use that code to you know get access to practice exams with the practice exam, there are at least 500 questions. Each question, each of, um, all 500 questions come from different categories. There's like, uh, let me see, there's one, two, three, four, four sections, which is patient care, um, safety, image production, and procedures so I did that for like less than eight weeks and um, when I did my test the second time I felt I felt prepared but then at the last minute um, when I was done with my test I um, I started to second-guess myself and I know that that is a big issue with me. I'm not a good test taker. Um, I feel like I used to be um, in elementary school. Like, I remember in fifth grade, like, I fell asleep during the FCAT, and I literally woke up, like, 20 minutes before we had to be done, and I just Christmas tree and I passed, and I got a high score. It wasn't until, like, maybe high school. Um, I started seeing difference when I, I did pass. I was like, well, I didn't pass. But luckily, I passed, like, the FCAT in high school. But this 
one, um, it really took a toll on me because there was a lot of information. Um, and I felt like each time you take the test, it's not the same thing. So it's not like, oh, all the questions, you know, I try to remember it. It's not the same thing. Like, I started to listen to motivational audios. And I started um, to ask around. I actually asked my teacher that um, I let her know my situation. I'm like, hey, this is my last chance of, you know, taking this test. And I need to know how can I pass. Like, I've been studying from the notes. I've been studying from the book. And I was like, do you have any advice for me? that can help me pass this test because I really really want to pass this test I really want to get my license in CT so she told me about um, a website it's called cttutor.com so um, after I failed uh, I waited I didn't really wait like after like a day or two like after I got the next time I got paid I went on cttutor.com and I paid for the three to six months and then they sent me an email I spoke with the guy spoke with one of the owners that runs the uh, site and you know he let me know that if I needed extra time or like extra more time to study just let him know and he'll extend my um expand my session which was really nice because I felt like they really cared about me passing my test and I explained to him, you know, um, you know, I'm done with the radiology program. I have my x-ray license. I want to get into CT. You know, I, is there any advice? He's like, yeah, just make sure. He told me to make sure when I do my practices to do all of the tests and quizzes at at least a 96 and above before I schedule my test so I started off with my weaknesses which was in procedures which was like the neck and chest um, abdomen and pelvis um, heart um, I had some trouble with um, image production um, safety I really did good on and surprisingly patient care um, Patient care is the uh, smallest section of the test, which I really didn't pay much attention to, which I should have. But, um, yeah, I was pretty um, low in patient care and um, image production and some of the procedure. Like the neck. I want to say the neck. Well, yeah, it was the neck, chest, abdomen, and pelvis, and then some image production. Yeah, those are my weaknesses. Well, I started off with that. Um, and then what's so crazy was, like, uh, as I was going through, like, the study guides for each section, I saw um, a lot of information popped out for me and uh, was really familiar when I uh, read the information because I was like, oh, yeah, I saw that in a test. And, and I felt, like, really... Like, I felt like I should have known the information. So sometimes, you know, when you get into a situation where you fail, you have to step back and look at all your mistakes. And while I was rereading all the information on my weaknesses, I was like, yeah, you know, I remember that. I remember seeing this. I remember seeing that. So working on cttutor.com really did help my confidence in the information that it provided me. Um, so one thing I did when I did my test and quizzes, I did each section like I did, um, I did patient care first cause I was, the, I had the low score in that. Then I did um, image production. Then I went on to safety, and then I finished off with um, procedures. Cause I, I I did okay in procedures, but I could have done a lot better. Um, so I kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it until I got ninety six and above in all sections, and then I moved on to next one. Now, when I was finished with all of them. I went back 
and I kept doing the practices until I got a hundred percent. I was told to only go for like 96, but I pushed myself to do a hundred percent because that's how much I wanted to make sure I knew the information because this last time that's it I had one more chance to take this test and I wanted to make sure that I knew my stuff because I felt like I knew the information but I wanted to build my confidence when I uh, answer the question so I won't second guess myself and I you know did that in my first and second time doing my test I guess that's where that really messed me up so along with practicing I mean I, I really I really 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 put a lot of pressure on myself by like even if I miss one question I'll restart a, a quiz over or restart an exam now the quizzes that they had on there uh there was like 25 questions and then the uh, exams there would be like 100 questions and then the time exams will be like 200 questions like the full exam will be 200 but on the state boards it's 168 questions now they give you more questions so you can practice so you can be more familiarized with the information that you could possibly be tested on. And from my experience, I really, 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 really would recommend CT.com because they have practice tests, they have study guides, they have games on there where you can like match up words or terminology that you need to know. Um, the flash, they have flashcards, anatomy flashcards, which are really, really, really helpful. Um, some of them I did see on the registry. And um, if I were you, I would study from cttutor.com. CT and then if you want, if you already do have this book, um, reread it because there are some sections in here. And this book is really helpful on the, on the registry. This book, um, I would say out of one to five, I'll rate this like a, a two. Because I, I didn't really study from this book much. Um, I got this from the library, which I need to return. Um, but this book is good. But I felt like my anxiety came over me when I was taking the test the sec my second time. And then my third time, I finished in like an hour and 30 minutes. They give you three hours. So after like an hour and 30 something minutes, I had like an hour and 40 minutes left. Um, I took a break, I went to the bathroom, and, um, I used the bathroom, and I washed my face, and I told myself, and I looked myself in the mirror, like, okay, you finished your test. Any answer at this point, you're gonna leave everything to God. You're gonna stop doubting yourself. You got this. And all you have to do now is just submit your test. And when you go back in there, you're going to go back in with more confidence. You're going to go over those questions like you, like you already know it in the back of your head. You got this. And then, I'm, I, and then at that moment, I stopped. Get down. And at that moment, I just kept remembering this phrase that Denzel Washington said in one of uh, this motivational audio that I, I listened to one time. He said, um, true desire in the heart is God's proof to you, sent beforehand, that it's yours already. And to me, I feel... I, I mean, I had to, I listened to that like so many times to the point where, you know, I just knew in my heart what this is what I wanted to do and it's already mine. So I'm going to go get it. And so with that confidence, I didn't change anything else. I wasn't nervous. And then when I was clicking, 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 clicking at the end, 
I checked all my answers. Um, I got to the part where, you know, you see a score, and I'm looking at the screen, I'm like, uh, is that a, um, hold on, I have a contacts in, I had to look, cause I, <laughs> I had my contacts in that day. I was like, is that a se se 75? I passed. I passed. I passed. Y'all should have seen my face. I was so taken away about my score. I was like, oh, Jesus, I do it. I, it's like, I do. I do. I was gonna pass, but the feeling of relief, like I was finally, all I could think about at that moment, I was like, I, I'm finally done. I'm finally done. Like this was my last big achievement school-wise. Um, I told myself after I get the CT license, I'm going to venture off into other things besides school. I'm not going to go back to school. I went from straight to high school to straight to college to just back to back. And, and you know, it was just, it was a lot. And I always advise people to like, whenever they want to go out and do something or want to, you know, achieve a goal, are you know kids who are transitioning from high school to college is to make sure you do what you love to do because at the end of the day nobody's gonna wake up and cover your shift because you don't like the way you don't like uh, where you work or what you do um, if you're going to get into the medical field make sure you get into a field that you um, familiar uh, familiarize yourself with and do your research on it and make sure you really love to do it because you are going to have to make some sacrifices um in a in order to achieve that goal and you know it just really depends if you really want it you know anything is possible with the help of god and i i don't know who you guys believe in but with me i believe in god and with with him I can do anything and I finally got my state boards state board license of August 17th and it came in this little package right here like so when I open up it has it comes in a folder like so know a bit is certified that's the ARRT baby the American Registry of Radiologic Technology baby all right so in here we have my certificate ah, and it has my ID number and it says Machina has met that education, ethnic, and examination requirements to obtain initial ART certification and registration in computer tomography. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, so, you know, they put in here, um, this is to make sure I stay current, renewed, um, able to join the community, manage my career, it's in a little packet, like a little pamphlet, a flyer for the ASRT Flex Plan. Usually comes in. Let's see, let me show y'all that. You see that thing? I really, 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 really appreciate you guys staying tuned in and listening to my story. And I hope this motivates you guys to, you know, try something that you always wanted to do, even if you fail. Give yourself one day. Cry it out. Boo-hoo cry. <laughs> if you have to boo-hoo cry it out, just let them tears flow. Okay? Have a day to yourself. Just, just, just stay to yourself. You feel me? Cry it out. Boo-hoo. Get mad. Do whatever. 
let it all out. But after that, you get yourself together, you sit back, and you look at your mistakes to see where you went wrong, you correct them, and you try again. Time is easy. Oh, yeah. And it feels like it's breaking my brain. I'm gonna go now.